I'm Dr. Gary Gesalter. I'm the Chairman of Surgery at St. Francis Hospital. I'm here to answer some questions about what it's like being a surgeon in the midst of the COVID crisis, and more importantly, what we're anticipating and what we're going to do about getting our elective surgical schedule back on track. The experience of being a surgeon during this enormous surge of COVID-19 patients in New York has been one of the most uh, illuminating experiences of, of my career. The problem of having so many people with the same condition presenting to the hospital at the same time in an environment where we know very little about this disease really had us on an accelerated pathway of how to learn how to handle patients, how to learn how to manage our resources, how to learn how to manage ourselves. As a surgeon, the first thing that we were told was that we were not allowed to perform any elective operations. And by elective, we don't mean optional. It means cases that would be scheduled on a particular date had to be delayed if possible. So what did that mean? That meant that we had patients who had recently been diagnosed with breast cancer, pancreas cancer, colon cancer, all expecting to have surgery in an ordinarily short period of time of one to two weeks, now being told that until further notice, there will be no surgery because we have no idea how safe the hospital is going to be or what the resources are going to be available to them when they do come to the hospital. On top of that has been the fear of what it's like leaving your home. When the governor of New York tells you to stay at home and you believe that that's the safest place to be, venturing out anywhere, whether it's to the supermarket or to the deli, is going to be perceived as a danger. So coming to the hospital where you have a lot of COVID patients was perceived as being really problematic. And now, as we see the numbers of COVID patients thankfully diminishing significantly as our self-quarantining and, and the stay-at-home orders have, have taken effect, we now need to start figuring out how to get our patients back into the hospital to have the necessary operations that have been delayed for so long.